How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him to me. Jesus got aggravated because here he's saying, you know what you can do, but you don't do it. Bring him who with a demonic spirit. Let me take care of him. But I want you to take care of him. But because of your insecurities, because of you doubting the power of God that dwells inside of you, he said, bring him to me. You know, it's funny sometimes we can say, let's go to Papa Do's. Let's go to the Cheesecake Factory. Don't get hungry on me. But we show up for a feast. But nobody show up for a fast. The Bible said these kinds come out by what? Uh, by fasting and prayer. Now check this out. These three things, you can write them down. The reason for their failure and we can all find ourselves, including myself, in, in one of these three. They lack faith. They lack faith. And of course, we know without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yeah. And also, without faith, you and I are powerless. We don't have no power unless we have what? Faith. You either fall into four categories of faith. Write them down. You either have little faith, no faith, Great faith, yes. or where is your faith? Yes. They also lack discipline. The, uh, see, the disciples thought their thing was automatic. You see, they've been around the Savior, they thought it was automatic. Unless you put some work into your salvation, it won't be automatic. Right. Because what's on the inside of you come out of you. Right. So they got to the point where they thought they were automatic. If there's a time we try to think we got it automatic, is now. Because you've been at Sunday school some years ago. Because you pray and you speak in tongues, you think you automatic. But unless you put some discipline work into your salvation, it will not be automatic. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Their calling will have to renew their fervent praying as well as fasting. They stop praying, Minister A. They stop fasting, Brother Excel. They stop seeking God because they walk with the Master. And I tell Brother Seneca, I say, Seneca, even though you walk with me, man of God, you got to study the word for yourself. Yeah, right, right. And that brought the powerhouse. Yeah. And so he, he, because he walked with the pastor, or you carry the pastor briefcase, or because you're an usher on the door, I don't need to pray, I don't need to fast, I don't need to do nothing. You're not automatic because you do church work. That's right. Come on, you automatic is because you put some things on the inside of you, which is the word of God. Yeah. Amen? Amen. The disciples got too comfortable yes. in their walk, and that's why they couldn't do the things that they needed to do. Give me a few minutes, I'll be I'll let you go. Maybe they were too busy for spiritual refreshment. I said this a long time ago, and Minister D is on it. I told him, I said, anointings are not taught, but they are called. You got to be at the right place. And so you got to understand that it's good. You got to come to the Thursday school. You got to be on that phone for time out Tuesday. You didn't see that, huh, Joe? All right. But you got to do all those things. You got to reach out on Friday from 6.30 to 7.30. These are things that you as believers must do. So don't ever get too comfortable because you was brought up in the church. I'm a PK kid. The devil don't care if you're a PK, AK, or whatever. You don't get relaxed in your salvation. Continue to stand strong. Amen? So don't get too busy for the basics. Get too busy for the basics. Amen? Amen. Because I, I remember Bishop Jake said this years ago, uh, uh, dealing with uh, uh, Sunday school. He was like, Sunday school is for those who are hungry more for the word of God. Thursday school is for those who want a little bit more. And so when we get to the point where, oh, no, that's for just the new converts, we in trouble. 
I need to be in Thursday school. I need to be in somebody's school. I need to be taught. We need to be trained. Even as pastors, even as leaders, I need Apostle Alfred to speak a word in my life. Yes. Amen? Amen? They also, the third thing, they lack humility. They even to the point said this in Luke 9, 46, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? They got pride because pride, uh, pride has a way of, of taking you off course. Pride will destroy you. Pride will not elevate you in God's will. Because it was because pride was found in old Lucifer that he was cast out of heaven. And so you got to keep yourself humble at all times. Tell your neighbor, keep yourself humble. Yeah, and so they, they get to the point where you are prideful and you're not humble, you're not really disciplined. Because no matter what goes on in my life, I keep a humble spirit. Yes. Tell your neighbor, keep a humble spirit. Yes. Number one, I'm going to go over it. They lack faith, little faith, no faith, great faith, or where's your faith? Number two, they lack discipline. They didn't continue to do the uh, basic things to keep their their, their power uh, uh, fervent. Amen? Um, and they was also too busy. And number three, they like being humble or humility. Close your Bibles. And I want God to just, as the praise team come forth, just wanted to share with you this morning about living a disciplined life, but watch out for distractions. You say, preacher, I heard that word, but I have some distractions in my life that need to be removed. And if that's you, I want you to come down. You know some things, whether it be your job, whether it be your family. Family could be a distraction. And you say, I need somebody to touch and agree with me in prayer this morning. If that's you, come down to the altar. Amen. Stay right there. Amen. Stay right there. Just lift up your hands. I'm going to hold off on the altar workers. You're going to go for God for yourself. Brother Brandon, go for God for yourself. You already know what to do. Close your eyes and reach up. Come on, cry out to him. Call upon his name. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. If he needs prayer, come down to the altar. Some things have thrown you off course, distracted you from the goal. There you go, man. Open up your mouth and talk to him. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on. Open up, open up. Holy Spirit is touching your heart right now. Don't let pride stop you from not coming to the altar. God want to do something in your life. Yes.
Thank you.